Hi my beautiful Leos, welcome back to the baby boss. Okay guys, let's find out what's going on for you this week, okay? Alright, um, let's see who's coming towards you or who are you going towards. Someone's listening to a lot of music. A lot of music. Alright, you got someone who is unshaved. Someone who is bold. Could be a football player. I just heard get in. Um, you got someone who's sneaky and deceptive. You got the initial S, first, middle, or last name. You got a drug dealer. The initial H, first, middle, or last G. All right. You got a DJ. Ravenhead. Somebody's ex stalks you, Leo. All right. Who's coming towards you? Your twin flame soulmate in the karmic knows it. Alright, you've got the initial E. This person could be a driver. Alright, what do you need to know, the sweet Leos? What does Leo need to know this week? Or what? Now let's do an energy check in. We'll do an energy check in for you, Leo. What's going on with you right now, Leos? What's going on with my gorgeous Leos? Alright. Oh, a lot of arguments, it looks like. A lot of arguments in a family dynamic. Five of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles. That is sad and regretful over an end or be all. Four of Pentacles and the Five of Wands and what's in the middle of the Ten of Cups. So there is fights. There is jealousy, there is competition over a family situation here. Someone is holding back financially. Somebody's draining somebody financially here. This is what's in your energy. But at the end of it, you got the Ace of Cups. You've got a brand new beginning somewhere else, Leo, okay? Whatever is going on here, you've got a brand new beginning. Because Aces are brand new. Someone is going to offer you a cup of love. But this... This is what you're going through. This is your energy. This is not a happy family situation. Whether you're with somebody or not. You could be separated from somebody, um, you could have got a divorce, uh, this could be co-parenting or whatever this is for you, Leo. But there's just too much, look. The Five of Wands, the Four of Pentacles and the Five of, Pen uh, five of Cups. This is sadness, it's regretful, it's guilt. This is holding back or holding on. You know, this is conflict, this is arguments. Um, I just heard despise, someone despises the other. But someone feels like they have to be in this for the kids. You've got a new beginning. All well, this comes back around for a new beginning. All right. Let's get more of your energy, Leo. What are you searching for, Leo? What is Leo searching for? Peace and harmony, yeah. You're searching for peace, balance, harmony and friendship. Shallow, hollow, empty, boredom. Tell me about the person Leo's dealing with. The person Leo's currently dealing with. The person you're dealing with is beautiful, charming, graceful, kind-hearted. But they could be bitter towards you. Resentment, anger and hurtful words. Confusion. Uncertain, unclear, unsure. I don't know what's going on for you, my loves. Let's find out who you're dealing with. Who is Leo dealing with? You've got Pisces, you've got Gemini. Well, this person uh, could be a Pisces sun. Um, I don't know, a Gemini rising or something. This person could be, be a Gemini with Pisces in their chart. Well, this could be two different people that you're dealing with. Fire was at the bottom of the deck. There could be no communication between you and a fire sign. Or little to no communication. 
Somebody could have Scorpio in, in their chart. I don't know what is going on for you. Let's get the ultimate exposure deck for what Leo needs to know. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know, please? For the ultimate exposure. Yeah. A Capricorn's lies will be exposed publicly clear in your name, so don't worry about that if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Um, a council woman won't leave someone alone so you two can be together. Why am I feeling this is your energy? I feel like a council woman won't leave you alone so you can be together with your ace of cuts. And you've got a council man won't leave me alone. You're dealing with a cancer, that's for sure. That's what it feels like, okay. I don't know what to do with your reading, Leos. I don't. What else for Leo, please? What else for Leo? Chariot. You go and see someone. You want to travel to go see someone. Possibly a Cancer. Someone who you could be a little bit obsessive over. With the devil energy here. Somebody you held back from. Who you're sad over. Uh, yeah, you could be going to see someone that you held back from. I feel like you didn't mean to. Yeah, you're sad over this person, over this unicorn, this chariot. Okay. Yeah, you're trying to find your strength and the courage to reach out to somebody. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're stuck up in your head. Alright, you do have obsessive feelings over somebody. Okay, um, you're addicted to somebody. Okay, here it is, your Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. Oh, you've got this... Oh, Ten of Wands, Four of Wands, Ace of Swords, Three Aces. Three Aces, wow, and the Four of Wands. Oh, Leah, you really want the whole shebang with somebody. The only ace we don't have out here is the passion. Look, the ace of pentacles, this is stability. You know, this is home and family life. The ace of cups, that is very loving. This is emotional. Um, you know, this is emotions. The ace of swords, this is truth and clarity. The only thing we don't have out here is passion. But we do have passion with the ten of wands. So this connection that that you're going towards, that this person that you want to travel to, the person that you want to move in with, you want to have a family with, you want to marry. This is not just about the intimacy part of things. No, this is everything else that you want with this person. You're slightly addicted to this person. You could be, um, you know, you could be feeling like you're going to be a little bit toxic if you don't get this person now. You're afraid sort of thing. Yeah, because you are stuck up in your head about this person, trying to find the strength and the courage, but there's conflict between you two. There's sadness, there's, there's a regretfulness, there's guilt. There's holding back. You want to go see someone. Let's see some clarifiers, because th if you get rid of this, right, this looks good. This is a Queen of Cups you're going towards, someone very loving, kind. They're nurturing, they're caring, they will listen to you. This person will look after you. This person is highly intuitive. Okay, it could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it does not have to be. But I love the fact that you've got three aces out here with the four of wands. This is what you want right now, Leo. You want someone to be with. Not just on the intimate level, but on everything else. Could be an Aries, could be a Cancer, could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or people, have, or people, yeah, it could be people, but someone has that in that chart. Oh, oh bless you, my loves. Oh, oh. How does this person feel about you? How does this person feel about Leo? Oops. How do they feel about you? Got three of cups, 
Death, Six of Cups, and the Knave of Swords. How this person feels about you, yeah, they want to celebrate with you. You two have had an ending here, they want to rebirth. Okay, they feel the same way. Alright, Six of Cups. You two possibly had a past life together, or you have children together, you don't have to be. Knave of Swords, they are trying to get a little bit more information, okay. <coughs> this person's weary of the connection, just in case there was a third party here. The card by Three of Cups, how this person feels about Leo. Six of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. This person is just trying to move on to calmer waters. They feel left out in the cold by you. They could feel left out in the cold. You could have had a third party. Okay, and this ended the situation between you two. They have fond memories. But they're just trying to find out information here. They're trying to see whether or not it's safe for you to actually talk. I feel like this person doesn't do sad parties. What action is this person going to take towards Leo? What action will this person take towards Leo? Two of Wands. They're planning. They're waiting. I think that they're waiting for you to make the first move, Leo. They're not going to move. They're not going to budge. They're waiting on you. That's confirmation right there. But they're waiting for you, Ace of Swords. They're waiting for some truth and clarity from you, Leo. Okay, their action towards you. Or they're going to give you a few home truths. They they might tell you a bit about yourself. King of Swords, yeah, this person uh, is very honest, very truthful, very loyal. Okay, they can quite come off as quite stern and fierce. But this person will tell you how it is. Okay. The Empress, hang on. No, the Emperor in the reverse. Could be dealing with an Aries. But I say, this person is extremely stubborn, okay? They're not going to make a move unless you do. Okay? They could come off as quite controlling or manipulative. You may see them as that. Or they could see you as manipulative. This is their action towards you. Now, it could just be that they're not going to make a move until you do. This is someone who doesn't really do anything. This is not someone who's taking action. Okay? Until they get truth and clarity. Leo, what is your action towards this person that you want everything with? Your action towards this person. Eight of Pentacles. Got the Three of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, Six of Swords, and the Knave of Cups. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. Yes, you want to work with them. Okay, you want to you want to see how things go between you two. The three cups. Yes, you could want a celebration, but also this could still be a third party in the energy here. You also feel left out in the cold. Your action towards them is possibly to leave them out in the cold. Because they're moving on calmly. But with the page of cups here, you're still going to offer them something. Okay, um... I've not seen that like, you're love bombing or anything like that. I'm just seeing that you're just testing the waters. Okay? You could be wondering, is it safe to approach this person yet? Let's see what we've got for you. What else is going on in this situation? Yeah, there is a third party situation going on here, okay? Whether on your side or theirs, that someone they had to walk away. Okay, somebody was no longer going to be a bystander. They weren't going to stand by and just watch it all happen. So somebody got ignored. There was no limits. Nothing can stop them. Continues on without restriction, going their own way. Somebody here was hooked, so addicted to someone or something. Um, somebody had a sharp tongue, so this person has no filter. <laughs> You're dealing with an Aries. Has no filter, saying nasty-ish. Um, has a tendency to be very critical things about towards people, that's the energy you're actually going to get from them. They are going to um, come in towards you as the king of swords, okay? It doesn't have to be an Aries, this is just somebody who has a sharp tongue. Yes, their words can hurt, 
but you need to hear it. You are supposed to go through a karmic lesson, which could have actually forced you into a spiritual awakening. Okay. Um, somebody is in regret here. All right, there's low vibrational energy. Possibly the third party is low vibrational energy. You've got your divine union, so twin flames are coming together here. Somebody is just always partying and playing games, and somebody feels very intimidated by another person. Okay, what else do you need to know? Apparently. All right, this is, what, um, this is what your spirit team wants to say to you. All right, what does your spirit team want to say to Leo? Okay, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on that other person, just fucking stop. Alright, spend your time on someone worth it, don't waste it on ridiculousness. Alright, you're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn, welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. Alright, because you're the shit. Alright, don't forget it. Okay, shit is going down with your job, I did see... Um, I can't remember if I just did this in your reading. Somebody may have lost a job, or there's shit going down with your job, or whether that was in the Aries reading that I did, but some something was going on with the job. Uh, Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Okay, um, that's what we got there for you. Right, Leah, what do you want to happen between you and this person? Leo, what do you want to happen between you and this person that's got all the aces? What do you want to happen? What do you want to happen between you two? Possibilities, free-spirited, adventure, risk, confessions, unveiling, coming clean, and messages. Divine feminine, yin, feminine energy. This is what you want to happen. Oh, You've got it bad for someone, Leo. What does this person want to happen between you two? What does this person want to happen between them and Leo? Okay. At the moment, they have cloudy judgment. Okay. Um, they think this thing with you, it was just an illusion. It could be unbalanced or distorted right now. Confirmation by the duck. Uh, they want a second chance, a reconciliation, making amends and have an opportunity with you. Shocking. There's turmoil, there's trouble, and there's unexpected. It'll get worse before it gets better, Leo, okay? This person is holding on to you. They're obsessed and they're possibly spying on you. Okay. Um, I don't know what, how much more I can do with your reading, Leo. I think that is it there.